It is important to understand, these videos are nothing but observations on Linux desktop UX. They aren't meant to be impolite, or offensive in any way. But what the actual fuck? Let me show you! All you have to do, is to focus and observe. I will only do two simple moves. Move number one. I will open settings, and I'm going to maximize the window, because this is how people run windows. Not exactly all the people, but whatever. Oh, and since I'm here, those patches I showed you few days ago with the new settings navigation? Are now merged on master. Next, I will go to network panel, and all I'm going to do, is to open my wired network settings, from this very hashtag obvious button. And that was all of it. The first move was completed. Let me close everything, and go to the second move, that is going to be a little bit more complicated, so pretty please pay extra attention to this one. So, I'm opening files. I'm selecting a random directory, and then I choose the compress option. You see that window coming on front? Then, I'll open Shell Overview. Do you still see it? Next, I will exit the overview, and I will press Alt Tab. Now we should see a single window, right? And that was all of it. The second move was completed. You're probably wondering what the hell are you watching, but everything will make a sense in a bit. Just stay focused, let me do all the hard work, and observe. If you follow this cutely failed channel, you should know, I never get bothered with cinnamon or mate BS, even if both are GTK. But elementary in many ways is an interesting project, and so I keep checking on it. But quite honestly? It is starting to feel like a plasma written on GTK. But without the features, or the options, or the performance. Only the inconsistencies, and the terrible design. So, let's go! The same two moves as before. Open settings, maximize the window, and go to network panel. But, but how we can edit our network details? I'm not seeing any option around. Oh, my bad. Sorry. Here it is. So they have all this empty space, and then they thought. Where we should place the edit network button? Oh, I got an idea. What about on the bottom corner? So nobody can see it. I swear. There are countless times I can't find various buttons in elementary, especially those tiny plus icons they use. And the thing is, parity doesn't stop to the button placement. So let me tap it with heat, and watch very carefully what will happen. I'm pretty sure you totally missed what actually happened, so let me do it again with special effects this time. Please, just please save it. You simply can't trying to edit the network details, and having the doc coming out of nowhere, and for none reason at all. That happens when you design things individually, without looking how everything will work together. And time to go to the second move, and you will see that more clearly. So, open files, select a random directory, and click on compress option again. Now you see that window dialog? And now you don't. Because if we open the overview it simply get magically vanished. So I asked Daniel and Cassidy, and here's the technical reason. Watch this! We're gonna blow your minds with magic we just make up on the street right now! We're reinventing the face of magic! Believe! The problem with this particular dialog, is that it gets hidden on overview, but if we try to restore it, we will most probably click on the file's main window, and so, the compress dialog will get hidden behind the main window. And then, another weird thing happens. While the overview can't see the window, the alt tab can. I mean, you have a single window of your very core app, and you have three broken things already. The modal dialogs that are a disaster everywhere, 
the overview and the window switching. I will freeze the video here, because that wasn't part of the original plan. I didn't mean to click on create button, but on cancel. Which bring us to another bad design on elementary. You have two almost identical buttons that are doing a completely different thing, side by side, and both are starting from C, cancel and create. Should I tell you that hand is faster than the eye, and the eye is faster than the brain? And so it is very likely to make such mis clicks? Just to remind you how it was the same dialogue in GNOME before. Cancel and create buttons have a distance between them, but most importantly the create button has a different color. And that is the proper design. So let me cancel this, and we are done. Oh, meanwhile, it was a guy that left me a comment about how great the single click policy is. I didn't forget about that. Going to upload a video on this too, and show you how many inconsistencies and issues it has. The original video script, because everything is scripted on my videos, was including my casual and typical talking about what I believe elementary should do. But then I realized, it is completely stupid and fascist to say to people what to do, so I will stick to my observations, and just describing what I see. Before I goodnight you, I have one last question. When? When Mark Shuttleworth was convicted? Cool!